Today, we're looking at the most common things people don't do and which they should to help them swim better. We've compiled a list and we're pretty confident that if you start doing all of these things, you'll be swimming better in no time. There are some keys to swimming better that honestly just make sense, but often it takes someone to point them out to you before you realize how beneficial they can be. Yeah, so let's go through our list and you can let us know down below in the comments section which of these you weren't doing and which of them made all the difference when you did. Hire a coach. Yeah, we say this in pretty much every GTN swim video, but swimming is an incredibly technical sport. The better your technique, the easier you'll find swimming, and therefore obviously the faster you will go. Now, particularly for beginners out there, you'll see far bigger improvements in your speed, efficiency, and endurance through improving your technique rather than simply trying to improve your fitness. So, bring an expert in, someone that can be there on pool deck or even in the water with you, giving you tips on your technique there and then, even if it's just for a few one-on-one -on -one sessions. Joining a squad. Most beginners have the same concern. I won't join a squad yet. I'll just swim on my own for a while until I'm better, faster, stronger, and then I'll join a squad. We understand that joining a group of people who all look like they know what they're doing in the swimming pool can be intimidating. But trust us, they were all in your shoes not too long ago. Almost all squads have a beginner group or at least a beginner's lane which caters to someone exactly like you. You won't get in everyone's way and you will get a great swim work out of it. A swim squad provides great motivation and support and often direct coaching. See our first point. And most of all, it's fun. So stop cursing those squads that are taking up all the lane bookings and rather join them. Do a structured workout. Just heading to the swimming pool and following that black line on the bottom of the pool is pretty boring. But also, it's pretty unconstructive too. I mean, Simply getting in and swimming up and down aimlessly may improve your fitness to a degree, and you might see some big improvements initially. With time, just swimming up and down, your technique will fall apart, and you're ultimately reinforcing bad technique. So we want to break the swim up into bite-sized chunks, and whilst that may feel like it slows you down initially, a structured workout combining a warm-up, a technique set, a main set, and a warm-down will actually allow you to swim further, harder, and with better technique. And you may be worrying, how am I going to remember all these sets and reps? Well, write it down on a piece of paper, stick that to the block, on your bottle, or better, put on a whiteboard. Using tools. There are various training aids that swimmers use to enhance their swimming. Some of these may feel like cheats or shortcuts, but they all have a role to play in improving and enhancing your swim training. For example, putting a pull buoy, which is a float that you put between your legs in, helps isolate your upper body. It not only helps work on your arm strength and reduce your kick, but it also helps give you a good feel of what a good hip rotation and a good hip position feels like when you're swimming. Similarly, you can use a kickboard to improve your kick. You can use paddles to work on your arm strength and also improve that catch and pull. And you can use a freestyle snorkel to reduce the need to breathe while you work on your stroke. In addition to adding a specific focus for your swim sessions, they also help break the monotony of those long front crawl sessions, which can help you to swim longer. Including them in your swimming can definitely help to make you a better swimmer. Swim in the open water. Yeah, if you're training for an open water triathlon or even just an open water swim event, getting out and swimming in the great outdoors is, well, a bit of a necessity really. Simply swimming in the swimming pool is not gonna get you ready for swimming in the open water. And even if you're not training for an open water swim, mixing up your normal pool training with some open water swimming will make a big difference to your swimming. It challenges you in all sorts of different ways, your body balance, positioning, the movement of the water, and even shoulder strength. It may not feel like at the time, but you see some great benefits afterwards. Now, in case open water swimming is new to you, you probably want to just do some research on open water swim venues local to you. And you'll likely find that there's already a load of people heading down there, maybe even a group that you can join. Ideally, try and join them each week, maybe every other week, or at minimum, at least a few times before your event. Stretching. While the benefits of stretching for cycling and running may be debatable, the benefits of stretching for swimming are undeniable. 
The reason is that cycling and running almost never extend you to your full range of motion, but swimming definitely does. You need really good shoulder flexibility because it will, your shoulders will go through the full range of motion in every stroke. You also need good core flexibility so you can extend that reach and get the full power out of it and good ankle flexibility to hold your foot in a sustained position that is the most economical. So stretching for about 10 minutes, three to four times a week is definitely gonna be something that you aren't doing but you definitely should do to be a better swimmer. Well, which of these six things aren't you doing that you should be doing? One or two, all six of them? Well, let us know in the comments down below and let us know if there's anything else that we've missed that swimmers do that you don't do as a triathlete. Yeah, now we're confident if you start implementing these six things into your swimming, you're ultimately gonna be a better swimmer. Well, we hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Thanks ever so much for tuning in. If so, please do give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and don't forget you can subscribe to the channel too to catch up on our following content.